Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am about to make uh, two chapels and I'm going to put my sloppy gel mixture on those. So I have my waffle maker preheating and I used a nacho cheese and two eggs. And that's it. As soon as the light goes off, I will pop those in. Meanwhile, I'm going to grab a bowl so that I can heat up this mixture. And this is uh, ground beef and ground venison. This should be enough. Uh, I added, I think I put a video on earlier. And it is a um, little tiny bit of green pepper, very small amount of, I lost you, yeah, sorry about that, anyway, um, tiny bit of onion, and then I added sugar-free ketchup, I got the recipe, I googled a couple of them, basically from Nisha loves it she mentioned sloppy joes in a video and I sort of just followed the same thing a little Worcestershire sauce and Redmond's real salt and I think that's it all right I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese to the top of this okay bring this over so that you can it's hard working with still sort of one hand and just pop the top down and there we go okay once the light is done it's the same as when you're making waffles that tells you that they're finished this is the easiest recipe ever there we go So we use this for anything that you would use bread or a bun. We've had it for a pizza bottom. Ronnie likes the mozzarella uh, to use as a pizza bottom because it doesn't have the cheddar taste. I don't really care one way or the other. Um, we had cold cut sandwiches on and um, they were fantastic. And what else did we do with them? So we made pizza. Uh, cold cut sandwiches. Oh, bacon and tomato sandwich was really good. And today it's going to hold my sloppy gel mixture. So take a few minutes as I patiently wait. Normally I'd be doing those dishes there, but videoing so I have to wait Almost done. so originally I was gonna have this um, have it in a bowl I would have had more and I thought I would top it with cheese just have it like that but I made a couple of these for my neighbor today to try. Once I made them, then I was, okay, can't wait to use these for sloppy joes. Just about. I don't know if you've made these before, but they're absolutely incredibly easy. You can even, uh, if you didn't want to use the bowl, put a little cheese, uh, grated cheese, plop your egg in, break the middle, a little more cheese, boom, it's that easy. Um, I usually use the bowl, but you really don't have to. Just about. All right, almost. 
just, it's great now, years ago, oh, 20 years, I think, maybe even more, I was doing Atkins and I did the Atkins protocol for probably four years. Absolutely loved it. Don't ask me why I stopped. Um, anyway, but compared to now, there's so many different things that you can uh, imitate, I guess would be, you know, the, the protein sparing bread. Um, I like that. You can do keto. If you're doing keto, you can do the keto rolls uh, using almond flour. We basically keep ourselves at a, like a two, two meal a day. Find that that's sufficient. Okay, they are finished. So I'm gonna pop them on my plate and I can show you the finished product. So you can see. Now I've never put them in the fridge to save them, but they say that you can, and then what you would do is just pop them in a toaster or an air fryer. There's my sloppy joe mixture. So this is basically a carnivore meal. Uh, like I can see just a hint. There's a couple little pieces of pepperoni. As long as it's meat based, I'm good with that. All right. And there it is. Cut that. delicious okay bye for now don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up button if you like see ya